I'm gonna make a quick video real quick just to show y'all what I got today. This is a uh, Mossberg 930 Tactical. It has just your plain front bead post or front but front bead sight there. A little uh, vented uh, brake for I guess door entry or whatnot. Enhanced charging handle. I like the easy unload system. You hold this, push this down, first shell comes out. That's a big thing to me. Charging indicator, tell you the gun, you know, has been cocked and loaded. This gun is cleared. Um, I dig this gun. I like not only can you see it, you can feel this, you know, in the dark, whatnot. That's pretty nice to me. I like this. It's a little stiff right now. Gun is new. But with, uh, I do also like, you know, there's two sides of this. One, I don't like necessarily how hard it is to lock, but two, it's better than it just being sloppy. So I'd rather have it that way than, than any other way. Two pins, take out this trigger, group assembly. The gas system's hidden here. You don't have to do anything, adjustment, anything like that. It comes ready to, you know, ready to go bang. So that's pretty nice. Uh, there are mag extension tubes for this available, um, four plus one, so five overall. It's not bad in my opinion, that's plenty. Uh, I think I'm going to get a two shot extension tube, um, just for giggles. It does come with some adapters to make your length of pull different. And uh, just so y'all are aware, it comes with a couple of them. Um, there is rapidly becoming more and more stuff available for this gun. Uh, everything from furniture to, uh, you know, um, this came with mine, but they sell these. Um, and they sell some even bigger ones, you know, like the Benelli's and whatnot. They have the big old paddle, I call it. Uh, this gun's for two and three quarters, three inch shells. Uh, but anyway, I'm sorry I'm so rushed. I'm trying to get this video done. I'm gonna go shoot it later on today, and I'll do a re another video of what my initial thoughts on shooting. I'm gonna shoot several brands of ammunition and even some reloaded slugs that I I make myself. Um, here is probably one of my favorite loads for my 870 and my 500 Mossbergs. Uh, this is a three and a half inch shell. Unfortunately, this will not shoot in this gun. This, of course, is only chambered up to three inch. Anyway, um, this gun, um, I mean, yeah, it would, I don't know, it, it won't even fit, in, you know, it's a big old bullet, but big old uh, shell. Anyway, this is, a uh, by Heavy Shot, it's called, I guess, Hog Wild, it's aimed at hog hunting. It's got three balls, you know, and I believe they use some kind of non-toxic material, so it's not actually lead. But those are .625 in, in diameter. But there's three of those in here stacked up. So that would not only be, I, I don't know. Some people would say that'd be overkill for home defense, but just depends on your situation, I suppose. And uh, I think that would be if uh, you were defending a front against somebody that was armored or you were shooting at a vehicle or for something like that. You know, In that situation, that would be like, you know, up its alley. That's a badass shell for, you know, if you were going to, you know, I don't know, squat teams, whatever. That's a hardcore round for someone wearing a vest or something like that. Or shooting through a car. Anyway, but it, yeah, it does a number on hogs. I mean, it like hits them and it rolls them. Like it just, they just fall over. By the time you're, you're jacking in that next shell, uh, they're already nerve scrambling. So, I mean, there's nothing to even, you know, they're, they're done, you know, and the group, it groups really well. Um, you know, 20 to 30 yards, you're going to be within, I don't know, a dinner plate. Just, just so you know. Okay. Another thing I shoot a lot of, and some people hate it or love it. Uh, I like it in all my pump guns. This is the Spartan double lot buck. It's cheap. Uh, it's like $9 for a box of 25, which makes it fun. And, and it's been reliable. I've never had a problem with this this stuff, and it's always on sale or always cheapo. Is you know it's the cheapest shotgun shells you can buy, and buckshot it makes shooting buckshot, you know, affordable. So just so you know, Spartan buck two and three quarters, and they just now started putting these uh, clear windows in, which is 
I don't know. It's pretty nice to see what you're shooting, even though they they you know visibly put it on their Spartan. But it looks the shells aren't really reusable. So for the reloaders out there, that's something you might want to stick away from. It's kind of like the tool ammo of shotgun shells. I mean, even though tool ammo does actually make shotgun shells. Here's some uh, Winchester Slugger that Walmart is uh, notorious for having on the shelf. It's a 15 round value pack. I think you save like a dollar or two, maybe. Um, they're a slug. It's a one ounce slug, two and three quarter high brass. Great shell to reload. I've actually used these to reload before. Um, that's a that's a good shell to shoot uh, deer, hogs, self defense, or if you just like shooting slugs, it's not too horrible in most pump guns. This is that military grade buckshot, the nine pellet double lot buck. And it's the high brass or whatever that is. I don't know if that's made up, but uh. It's good stuff. It's reliable. It shoots good through any pump gun I've ever shot it through. Now, I'll let y'all know by the end of the day what, what shoots in this gun and what doesn't. I'm going to shoot several rounds of each. This is the uh, Winchester Razorback segmented slug. They've got notches in the slug for when it hits something solid that it does actually split apart. I've shot a hog with this, and it is very effective. Uh, it's very humane in, in the sense that it kills quickly. Uh, you hit hogs dead. I mean, it's an it's almost an immediate thing. It's a very powerful round, and I believe this is also a one ounce slug. But uh, it's a two and three quarter shell, high brass. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, anyway, I'll post another video. Hopefully by the end of the day, if not tomorrow, of me actually getting to shoot this thing. And I'm gonna. Um, I don't know if I actually get any shooting video of it, but. I'll at least tell you my opinion what I thought and give my opinions on all this ammo here and even some more that I'll add to it as I find it. I'm going to also shoot probably 50 to 100 rounds of birdshot through the same today or tomorrow and see what cycles and what doesn't. I'm going to try Federal and Winchester bulk ammo, your universal stuff from Walmart, just just to see my side of it. And I know there's going to be a few issues because you got to wear the gun in a little bit, but we'll see. Hope this helps some people. Look forward to my uh, part two of the Mossberg 930 Tactical. Y'all take care. Be safe. God bless.